good people of the internet. My name is Marco and I will be sharing my initial thoughts on four different types of access PoE cameras that we are using at Plainsight Technologies. The reason we chose these four cameras is due to the quality of the hardware and also the many adjustments that can be made within the camera software. These cameras are also deployed across many different types of industries. The cameras that we'll be looking at specifically is the model M2036 4 megapixel camera, little guy, the P1455, which is a 2 megapixel camera, the P1467 5 megapixel camera, and this big guy here, the Q1786 4 megapixel camera with 32 times zoom. This is a monster. Let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into these cameras. Our first camera that we'll be looking at is the Access M2036 LE Bullet 4 megapixel camera and has a 2.4 millimeter fixed focal length. This wide angle fisheye view is used for capturing indoor and outdoor environments where resolution on a single item is not as important. The 1080p offers great clarity on different scenes and environments. This is a web interface view of the M2036 camera. As you can see, there's a fixed focal length on the lens and also the different camera settings on the right hand side. For reference, the distance to the plain sight eye chart is 3.5 meters or 12 feet. Our second camera that we'll be looking at is the Access P1455 LE. The camera comes with two megapixels and is very focal length of three millimeters to nine millimeters at 30 frames per second. We are using this camera for license plate detection in parking lots, as well as detecting other vehicle movement. It can also be found looking outside of buildings or entryways. Let's go ahead and check out the web interface for the 1455 camera. We will move to the installation screen and zoom in on Seymour, our plain sight mascot. He is in front of the plain sight eye chart and color calibration chart. Our third camera that we're looking at is the Access P1467 LE. It shoots at five megapixels with a very focal length of 2.8 millimeters to eight millimeters at 30 frames per second. This camera is great for human detection and other movements in a lot of different environments. It also works well with parking lots and like the previous camera for license plate reading and detection. Let's go ahead and check out the P1467 web interface. We will also move to the installation screen and see what Seymour is up to. This camera has more megapixels but slightly less zoom than the 1455 camera. Our fourth camera is the Q1786LE. This camera shoots at four megapixels and has a focal length between 4.3 millimeters and 137 millimeters and also shoots at 60 frames per second. The zoom combined with the 60 frames per second is great for capturing faraway objects such as traffic flows or humans moving at large distances. This one, as you will see, is a reach out and see someone camera with its impressive zoom capabilities. Let's go ahead and look at the 1786 web interface. Let's go to the installation screen. And let's go ahead and zoom in on Seymour and see what he's up to. That is a tight shot on Seymour right there. And we even see the twinkle in his eye. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And a little bit more. And let's bring him all the way back out. Next, let's go ahead and check out the different settings that we have on the right hand side for all the menus. So we were looking at the scene profile with Vivid, Forensic, 
traffic overview. All the settings are set to 50% on all the cameras that we tested today. Light environment was set to automatic, but you have a different choices of different outdoors, indoors, fluorescent types of lights. And there's the infrared filter cutoff. Again, different types of exposure modes available. Again, 50 hertz and 60 hertz. Different types of exposure zones. And again, <clears throat> the different settings are pretty impressive for the, what these cameras can do. One other thing that I'd like to point out about these cameras is that they also come with a quarter inch 20 UNC thread. This means that I can easily add my camera mounts to these cameras as well and just get it on the tripod. It makes it super easy for on and off uh, while testing. If you found today's video informative, like and subscribe and join our community of fans and trolls. Keep an eye out for our next video featuring the Reolink brand cameras and NVR.